What? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost land, the land of the dead. Voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions. Now you have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have is to use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Mm, just looks like a railway gate crossing to me. Look, the best way to understand it is to just try it. First of all, try touching your soul. Next, with your finger still on it, slide your soul across to connect it with the core. Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. Uh, so what? Now I'm a crossing gate? Um, now then, use the gate cross- or the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Oof. Hold it. Well played. Huh? What just happened? That was one of your powers at work. The ghost trick. You mean, I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. Now you have to perform a trick- All you have to do to perform a trick like that is touch the trick button. Now the woman's fate has changed. I'll bet just a little. Yeah, she still kinda has a gun pointed at her. Hmm. That's not good, is it? At least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it. Okay? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. This is a DS game. I see. A guitar then, is it? Uh -huh. Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. That would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Who's that? Oh, the poor guitar. Hold it! Uh, that's gonna be some kind of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is is me. I'm trying to be picky. I've got a woman to save. Like your attitude. It's admirable, truly. But, but what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now let's set time in motion. I've got a whole lot of nada. Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly, sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've got to be kidding. Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. Slide the screen? It's easy, give it a try. Alright. Well, sister, this is it. Two things looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. She's dead. Hey, Spartacus, what's up, dude? Oh, she got wrecked. Oh no, my corpse. My poor corpse. Wow, that was a big fall. You think he could walk faster, but I guess not. It's done, I'm on my way. You walked over to tip your hat at my corpse, dude. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... The lamp. Hello 
there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. Terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Oh, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. So it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. It's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true, for now. For now? I still have one more... I still have, mo still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. I can't read for some reason. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. It's a shame to see such a pretty woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash. But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp on its invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave a woman lying around discarded like trash. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time! That thought bubble you just touched, those are your thoughts and what you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices, and what we think is communicated directly to one another? So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye open for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world, and the ghost button is your ticket in. Best thing to do is try it. Ghost button, eh? Alright, so I can't reach you, which sucks. Bye! If you look at the top screen, what about it? it? Tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check it out whenever you need it. So in this case, the folding cot looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Okay, let's tie on the back button. Alright, we got that. Oh yeah. Now we can be the lamp. We're the lamp. Huh, that's funny. What is? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. Something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. What do you know? What prize do I get? A new power, what else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember, and nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there's something else you can do. Oh yeah, what's that? Why don't you try it and see? Alright, let's venture to a new dead body. Oh boy. I don't- I'm not gonna say what we look like. What's this? Alright, death size, no problem, dude. Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Conscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. That it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses, corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy, none of it makes any sense. 
talking about the powers of the dead here, it doesn't have to make sense. Now let's go, shall we? Time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. This lamp man, he's a cheeky little bitch. Alright, we're rewinding time, guys. There shouldn't be this much talking once we get into it. I hope so. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Alright. Four minutes. Zone D waste center. Stop shaking me. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no. He's dead. Oh shit. I love the animation in this game. Who are you? This guy, though. Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this? You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Tesmic left in this country. Te Temsic, sorry. What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. Just business. So long, sister. Alright, so we did that. God damn it. Poor guitar! Hold it. Shotgun, kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Alright. She got fucked again. We just saw this, I don't know why it's showing us again, but y you know, I yeah, knew. Yeah. There must be some reason, I suppose. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Is this manipulate, eh? A ghost and then trick. And then you can minutes as many times as you like. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so we need to save her. I don't think the guitar is the right choice. Yeah, I know. Shaky, shaky. Alright, so I have to... This is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse is your gateway to the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. This is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in, then. Alright, let's, uh... Gave her spitting me over here, sir. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You'd better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Who are you? Yeah, I know that's happening. She's yeah, I know. Mr. Nearsighted guy. Let me ghost, please. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right, have a look at the top screen. Top screen. The sand at the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. Thank you, Mr. Lamb. I appreciate it. Um... I don't know what this does. Oh, 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 oh. Slowly making our way. No, don't shoot. Some sort of hitman. I don't feel like reading the same shit again because we just read it. Just let me, like... Time is running. I'm trying to get there. You're not letting me go. Did I not do this the right way? I turn this on. Does it do anything? No, I don't think so. Okay, I don't think I can make that jump. Oh, I fucked 
that up. Darn, if I hopped onto the flag, it would take me up. Yep. I didn't even cue that fact. Button is being displayed, yeah. Alright, I see. So I need to trick ghost. Did you not turn on? Okay, you turned on. I don't know if I have to have the blender going as well. Seems like I do. Um. Take me to the top! No! She's dead! How did that- what? I don't know why that still worked since I didn't do it. I guess it's just playing at what I did the last time because I didn't make it there in time. And now it's a chance to change my fate! There's much time left, it's coming down to a battle of seconds. Alright, so I have to figure out what the fuck I need to do. Don't shoot my bike. That's cruel. Damn it, what's going on here? Near sighted Jigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. Looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And that's what second hope was born. Just now her fate was changed, I'll bet ever so slightly. Fate changed. She's still getting completely fucked though. Yeah, there's time limits, dude. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bridge is up. How'd you get in here? Alright, um. Actually, let's. No, let's. let's I don't know what the thought bubble is. Alright, if I want to slide, yeah, I don't, I don't need to. We're good! We're good! I don't need to slide. He's about to get so wrecked. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's about to get wrecked. Uh, I'm just not sure... If I trick that again, I think it just moves it backwards, doesn't it? Okay, it doesn't work. There we go. He's just about, he's about to die. Uh 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 oh uh, yep. Oh. He gets smooshed. Smooshed. How does it feel to save a lady's life? I just smooshed a dude. So the danger's gone? Yeah, he's fucking he's a sandwich. Yes, this it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your power to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. Fate averted. Fucking sandwich the shit out of him. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. When I came back to the present, it was raining. Yeah, how do you feel after that? You just saw a guy get completely smushed. Imagine the sound? I had saved the life of this stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Achoo. A stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? The most important of all. Why was I killed?
Thank you for the hostess credit. Appreciate it, dude. How was your day? I hope you enjoyed it. Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name, either, actually. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. So some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead, and that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute. These powers of the dead... Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. Whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. Think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But, in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. Alright, you have a good sleep, discredit. I am having a conversation with the lamp. I most certainly am. His name is Ray! Yeah, he's... he's a cool dude. You're kidding! You only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. Afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently there's nothing I can do to change that. Just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. If you want to go and learn the truth about your death, as well you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? can't even imagine what the first step would be. First step? That's easy. You start with her. Yeah, she was like shaking my corpse and was really upset. And she's sick now, which is great. This person who witnessed your death, she should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. Not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Touch the record button to view a record of what you've learned. And be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. New info has been added. Alright then, I wish you good luck. Bye, Ray. Have a good night, eh? Alright, let's see what info we have, I guess. New info! I lost my life in a lonely spot in the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the red-headed woman who witnessed that death. Uh, red-headed target. A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She, already has, been, she has already been killed once by the hitman and I saved her with my powers of the dead. He calls himself Ray. I don't really know who he is. He dances! He taught me the secrets. Oh, we don't really care about Jigo. He's just. He's a sniper, apparently, with a shotgun. I don't understand why, but. Oh, I have dingleberries! Remember what happened the last time you gave me dingleberries? You broke everything! Um, uh, everything crashed! Everything broke! Thank you for the host, Dingle. Thank you for the raid. Anybody who hasn't checked out Dingle Dots, please go throw him a follow. Uh, Captain, can I get a link to his, um. His, uh broadcast for me dude. Ding's an awesome guy. He's currently playing Pokemon Coliseum. I think that's the name of the game. He's a, he's a really awesome guy. Really awesome streamer. You want my you want my shit to crash again? Dingle, that's terrible. Why would you do that? Welcome Raiders. Who do we got? We got Dingle Milo Art Triple Six. Holy Pikachu. Jeez, not a holy Pikachu. And Dally. What's up everyone? How are you guys doing? Thank you, Captain, for getting that link. Oh, Art, Art got the block. Ah, oh, jamming! So many dingleberries. Thank you, everyone, for the raid. Thank you, uh, again, Dingle for the host. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, Triple Six, for the follow! I appreciate it. Yeah, sorry, it's, uh, it's, um, automatic there. I had to implement that. Holy Pikachu, thank you for the follow! I'm not hating on Holy Pikachu. Not hating. That's, that's special, though. Seriously, Holy Pikachu? 
Oh man, guys, thank you for the raid though, Dingo. I appreciate it, dude. You just missed my whole conversation with uh, the lamp, Dally. Thank you for the follow. I'm so glad you're here. Did you lose any more um, Dosh while I was gone? Did you guys explore any more while I was gone? Milo, thank you for the follow. It's not. Don't even worry about it, Milo. Don't even worry. I'm honored that you followed. I hope I can catch one of your streams sometime. If the follow <laughs> the follow train is real. Yeah, you missed um you missed uh his name is Ray. He likes to dance. I just had like a huge conversation with him. Zakorin? Is it Zakorin? Let me know. Let me know if it's actually Zakorin. Thank you, Zakorin, for the follow, dude. I appreciate it. Very appreciate it. But yeah, that's Ray. We're dead, and he's our dead teacher. He teaches me stuff. Cause he's, you know, a lamp. But, uh, yeah, we just saved this chick, and we're about to find out why we died. So hopefully she knows. I'm gonna be really sad if she doesn't know. Because I don't remember anything about my past. I don't know if I can do anything with this bike to change where I'm going. I don't. Okay, I can't. It's weird. Shimmy is a bike, apparently. Oh, okay, we're gonna... Zeko? Okay, Zeko Gecko makes sense. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Sorry for the first mispronunciation there. Um, alright, let's try this. Oh yeah! There you go, you got an umbrella. Give her an umbrella. Bitches love umbrellas. Freaking love umbrellas. Looks like she's saying something to herself, but unfortunately I can't hear it from here. That's no problem for ghosts like us, as long as your target's not too far away. Just like you do your own thought bubbles. If you touch the thought bubbles of the living, you can listen in on everything that they're saying. Maybe I'll just take a little listen then. Always watch for the thought bubbles of the living. They might give you some important clues. Let's see what she has to say. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Rain always starts by itself. That doesn't make any sense, what? Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. Yeah, we just- we squished a dude. You missed the lamp and the squishing of the dude. We squished him flat. Completely flat. It is a DS game, Milo. It is a DS game. Really good DS game. I thankfully don't remember too, too much of it. Yeah, so... Yeah, the, the rain just- I, Goddamn that rain when it starts falling all by itself. What's it think it's doing? Oh, there's a cat. Very loud cat, apparently. The cat just fucked off, alright. Okay. So that's my corpse. I have really cool hair. Um. Door. I don't know what I want to do. Can I do anything in my own body? Or no, actually, I guess I wasn't supposed to leave her. Let's go back in the umbrella. I don't want to end up fucking this up. Let me listen to what she has to say. But seriously, what in the world just happened? Yeah, it's my corpse. Oh, uh, don't- don't loot me! What's this? Uh, I don't know, some kind of note? Can I ghost the note? I can ghost the note. We can examine that shit. Alright. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... Oh, there's the phone. Oh man, oh, I missed out on the, the thing. Damn. I missed out on Explore. Alright, let's uh, I guess I don't get to read the note. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt a train of thought, but I wonder if you realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in at around this time too? Oh yeah, for uh, our sniper shotgun man. 